So Pat, what characterized the real estate market in the second quarter of 2011? Well, Keith, we saw a 33% increase quarter over quarter in the uh, Bay Area, in the you know, nine counties that comprise the Bay Area. And however, we were 8% off and over the same period last year. And I think a lot of that's due to the federal tax credit that people are taking advantage of in 2010. So the tax credit then made things speed up or slow down going into 2011? Um, I think that going into 2011, it slowed down because we really front-loaded mm -hmm. 2010 with a lot of transactions that probably would have, you know, taken place on a more uh, evenly scaled basis throughout 2010. So it really front-loaded a lot of transactions last year, and we're seeing the impact this year of the quarter-over-quarter -quarter statistical variances as a result of that. What were the bright spots in the market in the last quarter? Keith, we still see investors taking advantage of every opportunity they can in the marketplace. A mm -hmm. lot of them are cash buyers, uh, making it very competitive. We also see uh, in our Bay Area, where employment is still relatively sound, we see buyers uh, who were renters taking advantage of these great prices and excellent interest rates. We do see downward pressure on the market still because of you know some of the distressed property, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. as a whole, you know there's employment, there are great interest rates, there are great prices, and people are taking advantage of that. So for home sellers right now, how important is pricing their home to match where the market is? Price in any market is always key. I mean, you want to map to what's happening in the marketplace. We see, uh, especially the lower the price point, we're seeing multiple offers. Mm -hmm. um, and oftentimes so the price will be driven up higher than list, sure. which makes certain that that seller will get market value for their home. But they want to come on aggressively and competitively with what else is happening in their market. That obviously price is uh, something that's important. So how, how do prices trend in the second quarter? Well, we are definitely seeing prices uh, trending higher, median prices in the Bay Area over the first quarter. Okay. However, they still trail slightly year over year. Mm -hmm. And again, I think a lot of that has to do with the percentage of distressed assets that are in the marketplace, the short sales, the bank owned properties, things of that nature. So there has been a little bit of downward pressure then on price year over year, Correct. but we're seeing an increase quarter over quarter. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Which isn't uncommon mm -hmm. because of seasonality. Sure. Pat, how quickly did home sell in the second quarter of 2011? Well, we've seen a slight uh, lengthening of the days on the market from about 65 average days on the market for the entire Bay Area as opposed to 57 at this time a year ago. Um, the fastest uh, turnover is in San Francisco, where mm -hmm. the average days on the market were 44. Okay. Uh, and of course, the longest is Napa, where we had 112 days on the market. Mm -hmm. um, and we believe that's largely because of the, the second homes, the discretionary sellers, the resort properties um, that allow people to you know, take their time and you know, just wait for their right buyer for their property. So it's crystal ball time. Uh, so we're, I'm curious where you see the market is going to head going into the next quarter of 2011. Boy, you know, we're always looking to <laughs> find the answer to that question, sure. Keith. But I can tell you that um, we will still see inventory, short sale inventory, uh, bank owned inventory coming out that will put downward pressure and make for a lot of great opportunities for buyers in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Interest rates are still excellent. However, we're going to see a little pressure on price point because of the loan situation mm -hmm. where the conforming loans are now at 729.5 and all the government backed programs mm -hmm. and they're going to drop to 625.5. Okay. So put a little downward pressure on price and, and you know require people to pay a little more for those jumbo properties mm -hmm. uh, going forward. We're also going to um, take a look at uh, people trying to get those short sales done and executed in uh, 2011 because we're uncertain whether the tax benefits uh, that have been waived as mm -hmm. far as uh, debt relief, if, if mm -hmm. that's going to continue uh, and so into 2012. So I think people should be very aware of that, consult their tax professionals, but sure. as a whole, again, we're going to see a little bit more, uh, we're going to see availability and downward pressure on prices, we're going to see excellent interest rates, but those loan program changes are going to put a little impact on mm -hmm. the sales price. Mm -hmm.